Okay, here I am again. In the last video, I just explained it in about half an hour. I know it's a lot, but believe me, I tried to make several uh, uh, attempts, but it cannot be resumed, okay? Uh, the more details you have, the less chance you have to make a miss. Now, let's, I'm going to, to try to, to tell you from beginning to end what you have to do. I'm going to go over some details. I'm not going to read any of those, okay? This is discussed in the previous video. If you are interested in reading this, don't watch this video first. Watch the previous one, okay? And here the idea is what you have to do to do it very quickly. Okay, the first thing we have to do, it is to pick up, to pick up a point, a starting point. And that point is you're going to do like this. Make x equal zero. Because it's very simple, okay? When x equals zero, let's see a point in this axis in here, okay, in the y-axis. When x equals zero, it means that the y is going to be minus 1.5 cosine of pi, okay? We, I don't have to say 21 pi, why? Because since cosine has period, period of 2 pi, every 2 pi, everything starts again. So 2 pi, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 pi, it is all the same, okay? The phase shift is zero. Up to 20 pi, the phase shift is zero. 22 pi, the phase shift is zero. 21 pi, different. 21 pi, because it's odd in here, we are going to have a phase shift of pi. So the phase, just reading, just reading this number here, the phase shift is going to be negative, because this is positive, negative pi, okay? So this is going to be our phase shift. And because there is a six in here, the phase shift is going to be divided by six, okay? Do we have two phase shifts? No, we just have one. But this is the, the crude, okay, phase shift. And that phase shift is being influenced by this number. So the phase shift is going to be minus P, so minus P over six, okay? Now, what do you need to plot? You just need this. You just need the starting point. Our start point is going to be 1.5. Why? Make x equal 0. Minus half cosine of pi. Cosine of pi is minus 1. With this minus positive 1.5. So our starting point it is going to be exactly this number in here. Okay? 1.0 and 1.5. Once we have this one, we know that this one is going to be a crest. Okay? Those are the crests. Because this point is going to be a crest, what is going to be the next crest? We have repeated crests after cycle and cycle, okay? Every each cycle, we are going to have another crest. Because the period in here is 2 pi, from crest to crest, the next crest is also going to be for the next period, for the next cycle. While the period in here is 2 pi, the period in here is going to be 2 pi divided by 6 because everything is being divided by 6. So I know that from crest to crest, it is going to be pi over 3. So I have this point. I know that if I add pi over 3, I'm going to get the next crest and subsequently, okay? Every time I add a pi over 3, I'm going to get a crest. I also know that between two crests, I have a trough, okay? And the trough is going to be half of this. This is just pi over 6, okay? The half of pi over 3 it is just pi over 6. So while my crest is maybe at pi over 3, my, my trough is going to be right in the middle, okay? So this is going to be my first crest and this is going to be my first trough. Well, I know that from crest to crest it is pi over 3. Why? Because it is a cycle and a cycle. This is one period, another period, another period. The period for this equation here, it is just pi over 3, okay? Let me put in here. Okay, 
the period for this equation is going to be pi over 3. Why? It is this period divided by 6. Okay? Now, from crest to crest, it is a period. From trough to trough, the same period. You have all the crests, you have all the troughs, just draw your chart, okay? Five minutes, it's enough. Less than this, it is hard to explain. Again, the amplitude, it is this one. The period, it is, uh, is going to be one six, okay? If the initial period, it is two pi of the cosine, our new period, it is going to be two pi over six, okay? 2 pi divided by 6. Now, what is going to be our phase shift? It is going to be negative. Why? Because it is positive. What is going to be the magnitude? It is just going to be pi because uh, the, every 2 pi it is the same. So we're just account for this one, not the 20. Okay? But please, the phase shift for this equation, it is not just minus pi, okay? It is not just minus pi. It is minus pi divided by 6. Remember, we have two things in here. We have a phase shift and we also have a reduction okay, on the period. And that, that division here is going to affect our minus pi shift. From minus pi, it goes to minus pi over 6. Never forget it. Okay. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.